Jay, number two year at the battle 2023. My name is Jason Viking Friedman. Next to me, we have yeah, Ruan Portgieter, Pistol Portgieter. <laughs> there we go, Pistol Portgieter. You got to put it in there. And uh, of course, today is an exciting day. We obviously have the, the, the gymnastics workout, the cardio workout, and then the finals today. We're going to chat a little bit about the gymnastics today before we move on. Uh, tell us more about that workout and what is your approach going to be moving into this one? Yeah, well, this workout actually got a lot of a lot of elements to it, so we're quite keen to see what's going to do, like raising difficulty in each round. Basically, to start of the workout, three, two, one, go. Your team's going to advance, and we're going to start off with uh, synchronized two people working at a time while one person rests. Um, I believe it's going to be 16 synchronized toaster bar, straight into eight burpee pull-ups for round one. Um, thereafter, you share four legless rope climbs. So again, difficulty factor through the roof. The grip's going to go. Uh, after that, then you can choose to have it a buddy or as an individual 28 deadlifts. I think it's at 85 kilograms, so it's high volume, low weight. Um, and then after that, we have a 30 meter handsome walk. So that's round one. It basically continues for three rounds. However, the one change is the second movement. The total bar stay the same, legless rope climb stay the same, deadlifts and handsome walk stay the same. But in round two and round three, round two is going to be burpee bar muscle ups, synchronized two. And round three is going to be just bar muscle ups. This is a 10 minute time cap, so it's very, very tight. And then the thing is, if they threw a challenge out there, if anybody gets to round three and there's still a bit of time left, it's going to be an AMRAP of as many rounds of round three possible in the time remaining. It's going to be spicy. All right, so let's talk about those ropes. Obviously, a lot of people, they work with more of the, the, the nylon ropes. I see there they do have the Hessian ropes there. Hessian rope, I feel, in my opinion, has a bit more grip on it. However, that grip sometimes uh, on that Hessian rope, you can, you can damage your hands really badly. Yeah. So do you think that might play a factor, guys coming down too quickly and uh, ruining those hands? Yeah, 100%. Whenever you have something uh, like rope climbs in a crossfit workout, it's always inevitable, especially if you're something like legless for four reps, um, three times. It doesn't sound like a lot, but that legless factor up and down, definitely you're going to see some people rip some hands. And then of course, there's a lot of technique that goes into the, the rope climbs as well. If you can get that bicycle technique where you're using your hips and your legs to drive that leg up, it helps a lot, a lot more than just pulling uh, the weight. So are you going to be looking to do something like that as well? Yeah, 100%. What I'm going to definitely try to do for me personally is going to try to go just strict with the arms to try to save unnecessary movement and then definitely by the round two, round three, save the grip. I'm going to definitely try to do that bicycle kick. It just helps so much, especially when you're highly fatigued after or a lot of pulling that's going to be happening in this workout. And then of course that weight, only 85 kgs, like you said, a lot of volume there. Do you think that's going to play a massive factor? Do you think that's maybe a trap that these guys have set you at the battle? I think what is going to be interesting to see if people choose to do uh, all the deadlifts as an individual or if you're going to see some teams that choose, choose the option of going two, two people at a time. Um, I think it's going to come down to do you want to hurt a lot from this workout? It's not a heavy weight but it definitely is a trap if you don't pay attention to it because 28 reps, 28 reps, 28 reps. Um, you know what, some people might play to their strengths, other people might fall into the trap of being doing it a little bit too much and then getting blown for the pulling coming in the further rounds. And there you have it. That is the workout number three, gymnastics. A little bit later on, but now let's just catch up with some of the vendors as well as uh, some of the spectators. All right, with me, I have Angelique and Nikki. Guys, obviously the battle, they've stepped it up big time this year. What are your thoughts of uh, the battle here at um, Monte Cassino this year? Oh, this year it's amazing. I can see a variety of vendors, lots of food. I like the shade in the athletes area. Yeah, so I think it's great this year. I'm excited. Yeah, well, no, this is my first year here, so no, I'm very excited. It looks amazing. You're looking forward to the workout later today. And then in terms of uh, the atmosphere here, obviously there's been a lot of chaos last night. There was a lot of chaos. You guys, were you guys there cheering on uh, your lads? Absolutely. Yeah, no, yeah, no, we're all proud of our guys. A um, lot of NCC out there. Um, I like the late night workout. It was cooler, not so hot. Um, yeah, it's a... It's You're a, a amazing great atmosphere. Yeah. Really, really good. Yeah, well done. And then are you guys going to be competing a little bit later? Are we going to yeah, see you on the floor? Absolutely. We're doing functional fitness. Yes. Um, and yeah, so it's five o'clock. We're going to be on. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And there you have it. We're going to see uh, Angelique and uh, Nikki. Nikki, a little bit later on with functional fitness. We'll see you guys then. We got Nelson and Hein here with me today. Tell us, what are, your, what are your impressions, first impressions of the battle here this weekend? Has it impressed you or are there things that these guys can improve on? Right, uh, this year it's looking good, it's looking great. So it's, you know, it's got a lot of things around here to do. 
like they said, they got the shade going on here. All the, the things going on, the events look lacquer, the layout's looking good, so I'm pretty impressed. Looks looks power. Yeah, I think it's it's pretty well organized. Um, obviously the events are running smoothly. Um, everything there's kids play areas for the for the little ones to stay away from the from the trouble. But all in all it's it's pretty nice successful event so far. And then in terms of the vendors, do you think there's a, a nice variety of vendors uh, that you guys can go get food, you can go get clothes if you guys want? Uh, obviously we've got Puma as the sponsor, but we see there's some other clothes yeah, vendors as well. Well, Puma's got those cool shoes, so maybe I'll have a look at it later. <laughs> I needed knee guards, so I found yesterday knee guards, so I think, I think they're well equipped. I had my burrito as well, so I'm happy. <laughs>